Hello good day viewers. Let us find the value of x that will satisfy this equation. We have to the left 16 raised to the power of sine squared x plus 16 raised to the power of cos squared x and to the right we have 10. But before we start let us recall this identity that says sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. We can write sine squared x in terms of cos squared x or cos squared x in terms of sine squared x. So you can see that cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we can write 1 minus sine squared x instead of cos squared x here. So this becomes 16 raised to the power of sine squared x plus 16 raised to the power of 1 minus sine squared x. And to the right, we have 10. From laws of indices, we can simulate this. We have 16 raised to the power of sine squared x plus 16 raised to the power of 1 multiplied by 16 raised to the power of negative sine squared x and to the right we have 10. Okay, to get rid of this negative sign, we can take the reciprocal. So this becomes 16 raised to the power of sine squared x plus 16 because 16 to the power of 1 is still 16 multiplied by 1 divided by 16 raised to the power of sine squared x and to the right we have 10. So what we are going to do next is to do a kind of u substitution or t substitution. Let's t equal to 16 raised to the power of sine squared x. So wherever we see this we replace with t. So this is t plus 16 multiplied by 1 divided by t and to the right we have 10. To get rid of the fraction we can multiply each time by t. So this becomes t squared plus 16 equal to 10 t. We can bring 10 t inside so it becomes t squared minus 10 t plus 16 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation that we need to solve for t. By factorization we're going to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together, we get 16. And when added up together, we get negative 10. And the numbers must be negative eight and negative two. These are the two factors of 10. If we set each to be equal to zero, the first one, t, will be equal to eight, or the other one, t, is equal to two. But remember, we have substituted t to be equal to 16, raised to the power of sine squared x. So, if t is equal to 8 from here, you can see 8 is equal to 16 raised to the power of sine squared x. We can write them in such a way they will have a common base. 2 power 3 is 8 and 2 power 4 is 16. We have sine squared x. We can equate the indices since we have common bases. 4 sine squared x is equal to 3. Divide both sides by the coefficient. We have sine squared x to be equal to 3 divided by 4. To get rid of this power of 2, we can take the square root of both sides. To the left, we have only sine x. And to the right, we have root 3 over 2 because root 3 is still root 3. Root 4 is 2. So this is a special case because we know that sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So x here is either equal to 60 degrees or pi over 3 in radian. So now we have another case where t is equal to 2. Let us go ahead and find the value of x using t equal to 2. When t is equal to 2, but t remember is 16 raised to the power of sine squared x, which we can write as 2 power 4 sine squared x. Naturally, this has a power of 1. So 4 sine squared x is the same thing as 1. You can divide both sides by the coefficient 4. Sine squared x is now equal to 1 divided by 4. Take the square root of both sides. You have sine x equal to 1 over 2 because square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2. This is also a special case because sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 over 2 
therefore x is equal to either 30 degrees or in radians you have it as pi over 6 but you can also take your calculator and take sine inverse of both sides sine inverse of sine will cancel the sine x is equal to sine inverse of 1 over 2 which is the same thing as 30 degrees in radian you have pi over 6 so these are the values of x that can satisfy this original equation and this is all i have for you today don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload any content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues bye bye